That night, when the last guard had come and gone, Van Diathevan waited anxiously to hear what the madman in the next room was going to say. There was a sound like a mouse scurrying on one side of the room. Van Diathevan is not afraid of tiger and lion. But fear of cats and mice. Worried about having to spend the night in that dark room with the mice, he asked, Madman. Have you fallen asleep? He asked. There was no response. Only the sound of rat birthing was softly heard. After a while, some stones fell from the wall and a hole was created. Through it came the madman's voice, Are you asleep, father? Asked. No, not sleeping just waiting for you what's the job? Van Diathevan said. This is six months work, said the madman. Van Diadeva took him by the arms and said, Did you go through so much trouble to make a hole in this wall? What is the use of this? Even if you make a hole in the outer wall, it is useful. He said. There is no outer wall from here. The only way out is through the tiger cage room. This room is sometimes empty and not locked. So escaping from here is easier than escaping from my room. You trust me to come today and reveal this? What will you do if I betray you? One can tell from the voice whether one can be trusted or not. I will trust Santhan Amudan, but not Pinyagapani. I have also decided to trust you from your voice. And the thing about running away happened now. This is the right time. Why is that? Didn't I say the guards have changed? I heard two of them talking. They were talking about opening the tiger cage. What if the tiger jumps right on top of us when we open the cage? One of them asked, and the other said, Death to die for, said he. I'm sure they won't open the tiger cage from this. I think the new guards might make a sudden dash and escape. Anyway, wouldn't it be better to make an effort to get free than to lie here and die? It's true. It's easier to try with two than with one. You're not like me, you're a newcomer, a good tough guy. Can't we both tie up two guards and grab the keys from them and get out? Good idea, when can we leave? Wait a minute, I will tell you when the time is right. I'm very tired too. A day, two days would be good. Then the madman asked Van Diadeva about all the important events that happened in the outside world during his imprisonment. On hearing that Aditha Carrie Kaler had died, she said, Ah, then it is very important that we leave now. He said. Why do you say that? Shouldn't the kingdom crown someone next? What is a princely title? The emperor is afflicted with physical illness and mental exhaustion. He wants you to leave the kingdom forever. Who is there talk of crowning? Some princes want to crown Madhurand Hagar. And some want to crown Pani's savior. What is the emperor's opinion? The emperor wants Madhurand Hagar to mount the lion in order to prevent feudal fighting in the kingdom. Then it is very, very necessary that we leave soon. Said the madman. Then, he explained in detail how he came to know about the location of the Pandya crown and the Ratna harem in the country of Ela. Van Diathevan asked again about the secret of the Chola clan, I will not tell it now. I will tell if both of them escape and leave. Otherwise the secret must die with me. He said. Van Diathevan's mind was deep in thought. He tried to guess what such a secret the madman could tell. Shadowy memories flashed across his mind. Suddenly, when the doctor saw his son, Van Diathevan threw it away. He worried that he would interfere with the idea he and the person in the next room had come up with. He did not believe Pinyagapani's hypocritical talk. He and the madman were of one mind in this matter. They concluded that Pinyagapani had come with some ulterior motive. They vowed not to leave one in jail and the other to leave. They also decided what to do if Pinyagapani comes again. So, when Pinyagapani came the second time, both of them were cautious. While the doctor's son was asking the madman to show him the signet ring and tell him his secret, Van Diathevan entered the room silently through the hole he had already made in the wall between the two rooms. Pinyagapani turned and attacked him, and both of them fought. Had it been any other time, Van Diathevan would have defeated the doctor's son in an instant. 
The fierce battle continued even though the fiery wounds above were still not healing well and the bull-faced giant was still aching where he had grabbed his throat. At that time the madman came with a chain in his hand and put it around Pinyagapani's neck and tightened it. Pinyagapani fell down. Then they both tied him to the iron rings on the walls of the room. While doing so, Vandiyathevan said, Pinyagapani. Do you remember when we both went to Elam in search of panacea herb to heal the emperor? We did not succeed in bringing the panacea back then. But now you have come to us as Samaya Sanjeevi. Thank you for this help. You, the son of a physician, are henceforth. It is better to stand with the remedy. Why interfere with one's work and buy the trouble in vain? He said that. Panyagapani did not reply. This sudden accident left him speechless. But only his eyes glowed with anger, which was clearly visible in the light of the torch he had brought and set down. Then both of them took possession of the seal of authority that the son of the doctor had brought. Vandiyadavan took the cloth from Pinyagapani's head and wrapped it around his head. They left the room and locked the door. Then they walked slowly up the stairs of the dungeon. As they did not know the way properly, they walked calmly looking around. When they heard the roar of the tigers, both of them hesitated to go up. Perhaps they somehow knew they were going to escape and let the tiger out of the cage. Vandiyadeva and the madman slowly peeked inside the tiger cage room. There was only one guard in that room at that time. He was staring at the cage of roaring tigers. Maybe he's thinking of opening the tiger cage and unleashing the tigers on them, what? At that time the doctor's son started shouting. Couldn't that shout arouse the suspicion of the guard? How wrong was it that Pinyagapani didn't stuff his mouth with a cloth?